In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to use artboards. Now, Illustrator uses artboards for instead of canvases. So a canvas in Photoshop is the border or the sort of place that you can work on within Photoshop. On Illustrator, they're called artboards because you can create new ones. So it's like a painting or a drawing board. So when you uh, open up a new document, so if I go to my setup document, you can see some of the uh, values that I've used to create this certain artboard. But as you can see over here, I have this other artboard. Now, I've got two layers here and then loads of sub layers underneath. One of them is called first artboard, one of them is called second artboard. I'm going to hide the second artboard and the first artboard so you can see. So this is the first artboard. Then we've got a second one. The second artboard um, can be used for a number of different things. You can have a different design on there or you can create a whole bunch of designs on um, this whole one illustrated document. This is why it makes it so powerful because you can create new images on different artboards but keep it all in the same file. Or if you want to try a variation of images. So what I've done here is if I just go and bring these back is I've created two different designs but with the same sort of look. So I've created one saying tutorial and then I've created one saying Tuesday. And they've all got the same sort of uh, look. As you can see, I haven't finished with Tuesday yet, but that's what it's there for. So when you're using artboards to get another artboard into your document, and I'm going to just show you now by hiding these again, is you'd go down to your artboards here, which they look like two squares. Once, you, once you're there, you can add an artboard just like adding um, a layer. So I'm going to add a new artboard and that's it. And I can click on it and then it'll take me to that artboard. Now you can see that it's stacking them all like this, this way. So I can add another artboard, another artboard, another artboard. And you can move them up, move them down. And you can have as many artboards as you need on Illustrator, which is crazy. So you can have as many designs as you want. You can also delete them all as well at the same time. So if I wanted to create a new artboard, just click here and then I can go ahead with another design. I'm going to click on the artboard and then press Command and Zero, which will make me zoom it in on that specific artboard. Now I'm working on this artboard. So that is how you use artboards within Illustrator and you'll need to know this for more advanced tutorials that I'll be doing and for also for your own benefit of working without creating endless files.